Is there a distinguishable difference between dietary supplements and vitamins? That's what we're talking about on today's episode. Hi, I'm Kristen Lascola, and I'm here with Richard Hall, the head of research and development at Ameriden. So Richard, even in the most health conscious mind, the terms dietary supplement and vitamin are often used interchangeably. So can you help us understand what the distinction is between the two and why does it even matter? I sometimes wonder, Kristen, if people even ask that question because I, I think it goes to need. What is your need? People get confused between vitamin, mineral, dietary supplement, and they lump them all together, and they can be. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but it goes to your need. What are you lacking and what do you feel that you need? Maybe you've gone to a healthcare professional to find out and taken a blood test, and I would highly suggest that, and then you'll really know uh, before you hit the line in the supermarket store. Uh, but realize that dietary supplements or vitamins and minerals go back thousands of years. We, we're talking kings, queens, dynasties. They would send entourages out into mountains to pick these herbs for their dietary supplements. So they found value even thousands of years ago. So you mentioned starting maybe with a blood test. So if I go to my doctor and I ask for one, what particular things would you say we need to test for before we even start having the vitamin and supplement conversation? Sure. I'd say, doctor, I'd like to find out where my vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin C levels, potassium levels might be so that I don't go out and overload myself. Because, you know, you can overdo vitamins and minerals and supplements. They're all chemicals. Chemicals that can be synthetic or they can be natural. In the plant world, we call them phytochemicals. And so if you take more of one particular uh, element, say herpesine, you have to take it in micrograms, not milligrams. If you take it in milligrams, you could knock yourself out. So we have a lot of homework to do before we just walk into the store, oh, walk absolutely. into a nutrition center and just start picking vitamins and supplements off the shelf. Yeah. So if I see something labeled a vitamin and I see something labeled a supplement, what are they trying to tell me about the difference there? Is there one? It depends. Again, it goes to your need. Right. Uh, and it goes to your blood test. Most people will use a multivitamin, and that is a multi-billion dollar industry now, but a lot of people are going for different needs. They may be going just for energy. So they could go for, say, vitamin B12. You can go into a doctor's office and get a vitamin B12 shot, or they can go into their supermarket store, and there becomes the issue. Uh, you'll turn the corner and you'll find 26 vitamin B12 supplements. Which one do you buy? Mm -hmm. Here's what I would recommend, and I think this is a really hot tip. So for those that are taking notes, uh, write this one down. Go into your health store or your food store aisle, look at the different brands, write down a few of the brands, say a vitamin B12 or a certain formula that you're looking for, go home, get on the computer, and see the reviews. Hmm. People will give you a good review out of the thousands of people that are taking these supplements, on which brands are really working for them. And I know you're asking yourself right now, well, I see them at $9.95. I also see them at $49.95. Which one do I grab? Well, if you'll do your homework and you see the reviews, I think you'll get a clear idea. You might find yourself buying something right in the middle, but you'll also see the integrity of the company you're purchasing from. So that brings up a whole lot of questions that I think we'll discuss in our next episode of maybe just like me, you walk into these aisles that Richard is talking about and you're completely overwhelmed. You don't even know where to start because there are so many brands like he mentioned. So in our next episode, we're gonna be talking about how do we weed through the thousands of brands we see in the store every day. Thank you so much, Richard. If you got value out of today's episode, hit that subscribe and like button and check out our next episode as we unpack this even further.